Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another vlog because I noticed we lost another subscriber after my explanation video, so now I feel like I need to make another one. So, the only way you can actually stop these is by not unsubscribing. Subscribe more. Get more people to subscribe. Go to my channel. Ah! Okay, all jokes aside, I really didn't know that my problems with the game would coincide with the anniversary. Oops. <laughs> that was not my intention. The game itself isn't bad. I feel like I need to mention this over and over again. The game itself isn't bad, but the problems I've been having with the game are becoming more and more irritating as time goes on, especially in higher difficulties when you expect things to work and then they don't. That's where my problem is. That could probably be patched out. It probably needs a multitude of patches, but it can probably be patched out. But I love the game, and that's why I feel like I need to criticize it more. Because this could be so much better. This could be so much better done, and it upsets me that these problems exist. Now that said, that doesn't mean I'm stopping it, like, completely. Like I said, I'm just putting it on a hiatus until it's in a more playable state. Um, I'm probably going to go back to State of Decay 1, because that was where my whole love affair with this whole franchise started, and quite frankly, I love that game to bits. I still have it installed. Uh, I might start with a brand new crew, but other than that, I, I probably will go back to that uh, just as a reminiscing sort of thing or nostalgia series. I don't know. I might name it nostalgia series, come to think of it. Hmm. But regardless, uh, I, I want to go back to that uh, mainly because I feel that it wasn't that bad for that game as this game has been because this game was had the resources behind it that it should have been made better and that feels like it fell short when with state of decay one uh it was a very much indie developer company and they did phenomenal work considering what they were you know trying to accomplish and I will love Undead Labs to death for that because they did great stuff. It's just this particular iteration, I don't know, it feels like, and I've said it before in the forums or at least the new forums uh, outside of Microsoft uh, because Microsoft decided they wanted to have a hand in that and then that is empty as fuck. But um, in the current forums, I feel like that the game, for what it's trying to do, is good. It just fell short in a lot of the ways that I was hoping it would improve. I was hoping for an improved uh, control scheme, which, I mean, it, it does a lot more this time around, and you don't have a lot of the wild swinging that you did in the first one it actually targets nearby zombies a little better but it seems like like i've complained about before button inputs don't come out the way that they're supposed to or they go to the wrong thing even though it's clear you're trying to point them in the direction of another zombie that's actually down and it's just going to the one that's over to your left instead of the one that's on your right on the ground it's annoying and it's been a relatively constant problem, and you could forgive it when it wasn't costing you as much as it is in Dread Zone. When in the regular difficulty, it didn't cost you that much. And even near the end of the series of the regular game, you could tell I was getting annoyed because this was a typical problem I had with the game. And it was near the end that it felt like it was actually costing me something for the game not controlling the way I wanted to. And it's even worse in Dread Zone, and probably 
even more so in Nightmare Zone if I get into that because it feels like the game is punishing me for its own shortcomings. And that's a feeling I don't want to feel. It should be my own shortcomings out of the problem, not the game. And that is upsetting to me. And I only criticize it because I love it so much and I want it to work out so more people are interested and want to play it too. But it feels like it's not there. So I criticize it in the vain hope that someone will get it there. But that's that's a whole different story. I already made a video about this, so I'm going to get off of that. I just wanted to say what I'm going to be replacing it with in the hiatus till it's, you know, relatively fixed enough. Uh, I want to go back to State of Decay 1. Uh, like I said, I might name that the Nostalgia Series. I really want to go back to that and play around with that with a brand new crew and do some cool stuff in that regard. Um, I might... Uh, at some point, while attempting to get other legacies built up um, on the back burner, I might record a bit of that in the normal uh, difficulty. Because, like I said, normal difficulty, it feels more forgiving when the game is punishing you for its own shortcomings. And I, I kind of want to get all the rest of the legacies done. So that way I have like a repertoire of people waiting there to go into the next game. Because I kind of want to do that. Um, that would it feel nice to me to be able to bring in new, fresh faces to the game, and that's kind of what I want to do. Um, that also said, like I said before, I did want to play Witcher Three. Uh, it's kind of been sitting there in my games list, pretty much untouched. I only just got into it like a couple days ago to set up settings, and that was it. Um, that's pretty much one of the ones I want to play. I just don't know when I'll play it. And it's one of those sort of long-form RPGs that it'll probably take a while. But, I mean, I already did that with Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas. So, I mean, what's another one, right? <laughs> and, uh, quite frankly, I kind of want to also revisit those as well in different sort of fashions. I want to do... Uh, different play styles than what I'm used to in those games because, well, I mean, it's, I feel like I need to get out of my comfort zone every once in a while, but I want to do it with a, I want to do it in ways that I feel I can do it. That way I can just build up my skill level from there. And with Skyrim Special Edition and all the mods in there, and it seems relatively stable, or at least it does with the xbox one version um for fallout 4 it became unstable really damn fast with all the mods but i i think i've struck a balance with skyrim special edition and its mods to the point that i feel i could probably do a series on that and i kind of want to you know bring that to you guys too uh just as a redo of all of that stuff and a different play style maybe <clears throat> who knows uh don't really know what I'll do with that, but um, one thing I do know is that I do want to do more for you guys. I feel like this is something I like to do. I feel like this is something I can enjoy doing, and I really hope you guys understand that I don't you know, hate on a game for no reason. It's if, if problems, mm. I want you guys to know that I don't criticize a game for no reason. I want nine times out of 10, I want a game to succeed based on its merits. And if I'm complaining about something, it's something that needs to be addressed. And it just, it ruins the experience otherwise. So anyway, that's my vlog. Uh, I'm done bitching for a while, maybe. 
Uh, Sims 4 will have its fix done by tomorrow. Um, I cannot believe that happened, <laughs> actually. Um, I have never seen it fail to send out a fire department at all. A fire department truck in person at all. So that was new. Um, I'll have to make note of that. And uh, I got part of the way there uh, to getting it set up for the next uh, episode. Uh, trying to get it somewhat back to where we left off. But uh, there was a thing that was a concept that I didn't really know about. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. So anyway... Um, I've rambled enough. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube and Raj Kamal on Patreon for supporting my Patreon and thus supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one the only way. Stray Cat. Playing games. Vlogging. Uh... And talking about the future of the channel, really, uh, we're going to go back to State of Decay 1. Uh, we're going to go probably to the original difficulty of State of Decay 2 at some point to chronicle some, you know, some stories of that new crew or those new crews that I bring on. Um, just every once in a while, I won't be, you know, doing a full length thing on it. I'll just be doing like a recap of other people and we'll be doing The Witcher 3 at some point because I really want to get into that and start a whole new long-ass RPG series because that is what I started with, so might as well fucking keep it going, right? For you.